Now, this is my fact checker. I don't know how much she knows this shit. But cool. she said, okay, hold on. You is the, the goddaughter of Martin Luther King? The, no, no, what is the it? Niece. The niece. The niece of Martin Luther King? You read that wrong, Peter. Okay, you know, I, I'm a nigga. <laughs> I'm, I'm the goddaughter of his niece. Niece. Alveda King. Oh, okay. That's right. It, do you feel like you got some activism because of that or just um i feel like i got activism because of my own experience and my own personal story and my own passion nice nice but some people keep quiet they you do. know they go through shit and they keep it quiet but you don't keep they it do. quiet i mean so what makes silence, you not keep it quiet um like i said my own experience i mean at the age of five years old i was mm. sexually abused by a family member and there were other uh members of my family who had experienced the same abuse and never said anything and True i that. think that it ended up being generational mm -hmm. and it ended up being generational because people kept silent. There you go. And I think that silence is very dangerous. And when we feel that things are wrong and there's time to speak up and speak out, we got to stop being silent. But I think that, that, that really got to do a lot of black folks from the slavery. We are scared to talk. Don't say nothing. Just take, take the beating. Take the shit. I mean, and not only that, I mean, you know, situations, you know, the, 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 the sake of family bonds sometime. They want to mm. sweep things up under the rug. Right, right. Granddaddy Paying all the bills and right. taking care of the family. That's a lot of black Sometimes families. we and the black church. If right. we want to be Ooh, honest, hold up now. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, now. If we're gonna have a conversation, <laughs> no, let's talk about it. Yeah, you're right. No, you no, know, that's what some of the most hypocritical silent. people are. My uncle is a pastor. My father was a pastor, and they tell it's all tell me that the church has some of the most hypocritical people. He said the worst is in church. I said, wow. I said, oh, okay. But they always act like they sanctify. They sanctify. They're better than the next person, you know. Holier than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 I'll be honest with you. I only believe in heaven and hell. I, you know, when I die, we're going to find out what happens. I'm not right. about to go and see that. I might just rot in that damn casket. Or, I think or, that or heaven and hell, we, we, it's right hell. It's right here on Ooh, earth. Ain't no heaven, though? I, I will say. Well, well, I will hope well, so. Well, when when you leave well, here and you're not living well, in this, what we living with. Well, we can ask a couple of women. They'll let you know they're in heaven when they're with me. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, Angela, okay. I ain't well, met you before you got married. Okay, I don't know, okay. Okay. <laughs> Fact checker, get on the job. That is not on the paper. No comment. No, no comment. <laughs> oh, that no comment. You're the hell. You're that shit. Like, I, my name's on the door. Now, if you like that clip, please hit the notification bell and hit the subscribe button and follow us. We really appreciate it.